Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, my name's Leslie and I'm thrilled to have you here. Listen, you're here on the weekend wrap up. The weekend wrap ups where we take bits and pieces and clips of what we do over the weekend. We just kind of throw it all into a video and then we end up over on the couch where Bryant gives you the summary of his Sunday morning sermon. So listen, we are glad to have you here. I'm not going to waste any more time. We're just going to jump right on into the video. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the weekend wrap up. So we are headed. It is now at this moment. It is Friday night. <laughs> I have to look at you and see what day it is. It's Friday night, five o'clock, and we are headed to meet some friends. They are taking us to a, I think it's a fish house. I think so. And um, so we're going to Describe eat. Describe a fish house. A fish house. house is like where they fix fried fish and broiled hey, fish over here. Over here. It's okay. a seafood restaurant. <laughs> a seafood restaurant. <laughs> what I call, I grew up calling them fish houses. <laughs> so um, that's where we're headed. So we're going to meet with our friends and then ride with them to the restaurant. What, what city is it in? It's in Lexington, North Carolina. That's where we're going. The home of barbecue. So we're going to the home of barbecue. To eat fish. To eat fish. <laughs> so, all right, we'll see y'all there. Hey everybody, we are out doing our nighttime cow check. We've already checked one herd. They're talking to you. I said hello. We've already checked one herd. Now we're over here at the other one. Other farm. See some back there in the background? Let me turn you around. All right, here's some uh, right there across the hill. They uh, I think there's 21 mama cows and a bull over here. And uh, so here they are. There's one missing. I just heard her over the hill, though, over there. So uh, check it out. You can't see it, but uh, the newest calf is over across the creek. Let me see if I can get a right there. No, not right there. He's over there somewhere. Might be there with them two mama cows because that solid white face cow, it's her calf. I think I see his little head back there in the background. Oh, I see his little legs under that cow right there. See his legs back there under that cow? Uh, it's back there. It's got a little white speck on his face. It was born, uh, today is Thursday. I think it was born on Saturday. So uh, here they are over here. Let's go uh, call it quits for the evening, guys. We are grilling out burgers tonight. Bryant's going to grill out burgers. So we're here at Walmart where we home away from home and we're getting buns uh, what kind of buns? Drinks. Oh, we got two different kinds. We got the ballpark tailgaters. But you got the big ones. The big ones, the tailgaters. And then the farmhouse hardy white. The bigger, bolder. Bigger, bolder burgers. Yep. Got some, what kind of beef? Got 80 20 hamburger, some drinks. Bryant has a snack. Yep. Look at there. I love those things. What about y'all? Honey mustard pretzels, pieces. So now we're on my aisle to get ice cream. And then we got to get lettuce and tomato and all the good we, stuff. That we goes all on. have addictions, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. Ice cream. October or December of next, next year, year is what I would prefer to go. That gives me, that gives me a whole year of saving money because we're gonna need both five hours for my family. How do I football? Can you make with me? No, but we, 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 we work actually, but you took off and now we got to now we're getting ready to go. I'll buy a few, Judah. Oh, and Benji gets him right next year. So we had a wonderful time with the family tonight. Um, Bryant cooked out hamburgers. Oh, he's yawning. yawning. Um, he grilled out hamburgers. We just put lettuce, tomato, onion on it, mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup. I had some bag chips, the little small bag chips. And we just had a wonderful family meal. Everybody was there except for Jamie. Jamie is uh, at work, so he was not able to make it. Um, but it was just glorious, just wonderful. And then we had chocolate ice cream for dessert. Bryant and Isaac threw football with the boys in the front yard. They've just now left. It's eight o'clock at night. They've just left our house. And so now we are headed over to some friend's house to have coffee. I don't know if they're doing the fire pit. Are they doing the fire pit? I'm not sure. So we'll see. I know they're making coffee for us, so I don't know if we're gonna be inside or outside, but either way, I freeze over there, so I'm in a sweatshirt. So, all right, we'll see you when we get there. Hey, 
Hey, everybody. Where are we at? We're hanging out with Heather and Jason. Yep. Fixing to have coffee, I think. I shouldn't even think so. <laughs> He'll do it in here, and then I'm going to stop and see. I wouldn't smell them if I were you. <laughs> well, sometimes in chicken farming, there's uh, some struggles you have that uh, beyond your control. Sometimes it's uh, things you can't control. I'm going to show you some things that you can't control that's often frustrating. Let me show you real quick. See those two feed bins right there? They, uh, they hold about 30,000 pounds of feed, okay? Uh, each, they hold 30,000 pounds, so that is 60,000 pounds of feed. Uh, at the bottom of that is that white line. See that white line right there? The feed drops down out of those boots. You can see there's feed in that back bin, the one on my right, and the front bin, the one on my left. You can see there's a clear boot. There's no feed. Well, I've got both those slides pulled in, uh, open, so once the feed runs out, it can transfer to the other one that has feed. And it goes from that white tube inside the house right there through what's called a metal auger system. There's a motor on the other end that turns that auger that pushes that feed or pulls that feed in. Well, when the feed mill brings the feed to you, sometimes it's it's hot, freshly made, it's freshly ground. They put it in the top of that bin, they open the top of that bin, use a chute, put it in there, and all that pressure falls down that bin, down that funnel, into that clear hopper boot. Well, the problem is simply this. this freshly ground feed that is warm put into a cold bin will solidify, it gets hard. And so what you have to do, you gotta turn the auger off. If not, you'll cut your finger off, but you gotta turn the auger off. There's a little side plate right there. You can see that side plate, it's got those two wing nuts. You gotta take it apart and you gotta clean it out. That's what we're getting ready to do. So uh, hang tight while I take you along for the ride. All right, here we go. You got this little slide right here that you're supposed to push. Well, the problem is when the feed is hard like that, see that? You can barely, barely push it in, okay? So let's take this plate off the side here. See those wing nuts right there? Take that plate off. Let's see what we got. Now the tragedy's gonna be when the feed starts to fall. See, there's a metal ball right there. See that metal ball? And that metal ball, look how worn that is. It's been sitting there just banging and banging multiple times it does that, okay? But if you look right here, see that clump of feed right there? That's what I'm talking about. See how? solid it is right there and I'm trying to dig it out okay I know it's kind of hard for you to see what I'm doing but I take my hand get up in there and that is hard hard feed if I can just get a little hole sorry I'm wiggling okay if I can just get a little hole started and get a little dry feed to fall it will eventually feed itself down but see it uh, it's not working that way so it's a frustrating part now what I have to do is I'll sweep that feed up and put it in the bin in there because you can't be losing your feed. So let me work on this. Let me get this unclogged and I'll bring you back. Okay, I, I took my hand. I've reached as far as I can up in there. And look, I've cleaned up until it's totally clear all the way around. Uh, the feed is still kind of sticking. You can see it right there. It's kind of a cool picture uh, to see feed just... Uh, there's about, like I said, there's 30,000 pounds of feed right there just hanging in gravity, hanging by gravity and uh, with no bottom in it. But, but let me go turn this auger back on and I'll show you how we help make it fall. All right, well, you can hear the auger running in the background. Let me get down here. See that little bearing right there moving? See the feed hanging right there? Normally you have a, a, a mallet, uh, but mine's missing. What you do is just tap this boot right here. Give it a little encouragement right there, just like that. Be careful not to uh, not to damage that boot. Once you've got a a place like that right there, you see where the feed is falling. That's all you need, and she will slowly, slowly continue to work her way down. See, that's pulling that feed in right there. Kind of satisfying, isn't it? All right, let's go check. Make sure it's coming on the inside. Happy Sunday morning, everyone. It is now Sunday, and we are headed to church. Um, running a little bit late today, and that rarely happens for us. Just, believe it or not. Just five minutes. Five minutes late. But, um, and we yeah, get, we're, we're not going to be late for service or anything. We're just going to be late, later than we normally get there. Right. Um, 
we get there, we turn the coffee pot on, we turn the sound system on, a lot of prep stuff. So um, we are headed there. So hopefully if I think about it and I'm not running too crazy like a chicken with my head cut off, I'll film a little bit of this morning and what we do. All right, so I didn't get to film a whole lot at the church. When we got there, it was like everything decided to go haywire. Wire. The sound system, the computer, not the sound system, but the computer wasn't working right. It was just, it was a little chaotic. So I didn't get anything filmed, but it was an absolutely amazing day at the service. And um, so we're just going to meet over on the couch and Brian can give you a summary of his sermon. Hey everyone, welcome to Couch Time. Hey, 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 hope you've all had a fabulous week. We've had a busy week here on the farm, oh. a great week. How did you guys like those dump cakes? Yes, all four dump cakes. I told her she should have split that video up, did two, two, two one day, two the next day. I told him you guys liked all four in one video. That's what she said, and that's what she did. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to say the apple was probably my favorite. The cherry, cherry was my second. The lemon, then the chocolate. He's not. The chocolate was too rich, he said. Too rich. I don't, I don't know if it should have just been a double chocolate. Because it was <laughs> well, a I don't think the pudding made it that much. Really? Oh, yeah. It was just really... It, it was good. I, I would have to have cut that ice cream. with some ice cream. <laughs> I cut sweetness you'd with some ice cream. To, you'd have had to cut it with some ice cream. <laughs> that kind of sounds odd, don't it? <laughs> yeah, but it was rich. But it was good. It was good. It was good. But anyway, great week. So how the footage, how'd you guys like the uh, feed bin situation? Yep. You got to see you. So that's something you've probably never seen. I don't think we've showed anything like that. Those uh if there's any moisture in the feed at all, it it sometimes gets hard and clump, yeah. clumpy and you have to keep working it yep. and it can it can actually happen that way inside the house too yep. it can it, you can get a clump inside the house that tightens things up a little this week's going to be busy birds start going out uh tomorrow morning uh yeah i told you guys about the conference i was going to be going to yeah we we were carrying ourselves total of nine people from our church to a conference this week about breaking growth barriers um, it's, it's unique. Our church will hit that 250 mark and then pull back for a few weeks, hit that 250 mark and pull back a few weeks. And so the average size church in North Carolina is 70. That's the average size. So we're a little larger than average size. So we're doing all we can to keep growing and keep building the kingdom. And so this conference we're going to is about breaking those growth barriers. And so uh, tell them what happened. Well, the way our chicken schedule failed, it was going to be perfect. Daniel was going to do the last two houses by his house and it was by yes. himself, and we were going to be fine. And um, they changed the schedule. Yep. So Leslie gets to stay home with Daniel and sell chickens. Yep. So I'll get to go to a you know a short portion of it, but that's half a day it. Tuesday, half a day Wednesday. So yeah. not sure I'll make the Tuesday one. But anyway, I'm going and carrying the other. Eight people, and so we're going, we're going to have a good time, learn and grow together. So, um, this week selling chickens, um, going to the conference. She's making some videos. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on, and so we're going to bring you guys along for a lot of that. Time is fixing to get very crazy around here because Busy. it's time to start planning and thinking about the chicken stew. Four weeks away. Yep. So it's um, then we have a grandbaby coming. So no. Eight weeks away. Mm -hmm. So we have um, lots happening around here. <laughs> hey, today's message, if you watched Couch Time last week, it was I used the same message that I preached at my home church. I preached today at our church. But while preaching it, the Lord gave me something extra. Okay, Go back and catch um, last week's Couch Time if you, if you missed it so you can get everything. But one thing that I got today that I didn't share last week was simply this. Um, it was about having being firmly rooted and grounded in God's word and connected to God through in Ephesians chapter three. One of the, one of the things the Lord gave me today was simply this. The reason we miss the warning lights and we miss some of the indicators, the bell indicators is because we dismiss the small stuff. Um, 
even though you've got an under inflation tire light on your car, if you dismiss that very quickly, you can be on the side of the road with a flat tire because you don't know how much air is in your tire. You just know that little light is telling you that it is below a certain PSI. You can be like me and say, oh, it's just a little slack. It'll be okay. It's a little slack. It'll be okay. <laughs> Next thing you know, you find yourself on the side of the road with a flat tire and nobody to help you because we as believers have a problem with dismissing the small things. It won't matter. It won't hurt. It's only one time. Nobody will know. And the next thing you know, those little things will add up. And the next thing you know, it just compiles, compiles, compiles. And then we become disconnected um, because of all those things. And so that's very sure today is probably this the may not make sense because you he's not given the total of his because he did it on last week's set couch. The time. context of last week's message was this that if we are faulty grounded if we have a if we're a not loose gra wire. If we're not grounded correctly uh, if we have a loose wire and we're not grounded to the power source which is a relationship with god um then it can cause all kind of problems to happen if we're not firmly rooted and grounded and um in that ground working loose or the corrosion that causes us not to have a good ground Sometimes in the process, while looking for that ground, we can dismiss some small things. Oh, that won't matter. It won't hurt. And the next thing you know, we've got problems. Anyway, hey, this message, my full message today, will be on the Browers Wesleyan YouTube channel tomorrow by 3 o'clock. Go catch the whole thing. It is a message every church member needs to watch. So, yes, it was really good. Show them what you got in the mail. Hey, look, this came, um, it was actually delivered to me at church, but. Oh, ain't that sweet? Look what it makes. Somebody matches. paid attention. Because she likes pheasants. Because I love pheasants. I think they're beautiful. And they sent her a hand tie. Yeah, so, and it, there was not a name in it, so I don't know if whoever was supposed to send a name but i love it yep Tina thank you thank Higgins, you pheasant room exclusively designed a part design that's who made this yeah but i don't know who ordered it and had it sent to me so thank you thank you so much i love them absolutely love it like i, I want to frame them <laughs> <laughs> oh, so but thank you so very much I love pheasants. I think they're beautiful. Um, we actually have a pheasant farm not far from here. And uh, there was one day we were driving down and um, one was running <laughs> running down, down the side of the road. And I was like, <gasps> I was so excited. But anyway, but so guys, thank you so much for joining. I don't know what next week holds because it's going to be a busy, crazy week. But whatever it is, we're bringing you along with us for Going it. For the ride. And, um, You'll just get to do whatever we do. So. Hey, thank you guys for being faithful followers. Yes. You guys have been tremendous. We appreciate it. Um, uh, it it uh, just amazes us some of the mail we get, some of the emails, some of the messages online of how the channel blesses your heart and how you allow us to come into your homes every day or to your digital device. It's just amazing how God used this channel, uses this channel as an extension of His ministry. One of the greatest compliments I get is that you feel like family and friends and that you're sitting in our home with us and oh my goodness that's that's wonderful and uh, if we could have each and every one of you actually here we sure would but that's impossible so we're doing the next best best thing and we just love you allowing us to be a part of your life so thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife we'll see you on the next one and remember the grease is hot enough you, you can, can fry, fry anything, anything. bye y'all bye guys